Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me. In today's video, super excited, I've got the Lightly Makeup Ugly palette to show you. So I'm going to be showing you the palette up super close. We're going to be creating this eye look together and then I'm going to be giving you some first impressions on the shades that I've used so far. So if that sounds good to you, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so Lightly Makeup then is an influencer brand and the channel was It's Lightly Makeup and the creator behind it is Geordie. I've been watching Geordie's channel for a long, long time. She was recommended by Atley or Ashley via she is now and I just love her creativity and the whole sort of vibe behind like what she does. She's a little bit kooky, a little bit interesting. So I just love, as I say, her creativity. And she's the brand behind the Clown and Fairy Blush Palette. So that's the Clown Blush Palette, of course. You've probably seen me use this on my channel before because it's one of my favourite things I own in my makeup collection. But that's the, the Clown one. And that was her first blush palette. And then she brought out the Fairy Palette, which has got some really interesting shades. I've never used the green as, as blush, but I love these other shades that are in this one as well. I'm wearing the clown one today though. But she's never brought out eyeshadows. And then when I saw it sneak peek that there was gonna be an eyeshadow palette, I just knew I had to own it because I love those blush palettes so much. They're really pigmented, but not too much. They blend really well. And I just knew she'd make a good job of bringing out an eyeshadow palette. So this is the artwork on the palette. It's the ugly palette, so she says. I think it's beautiful. It's got paint splashes, it's got butterflies, and then kind of this bit feels almost a little bit raised, you know, where you've got the, the name there. And then on the back, that is Geordie. And I don't know who the other influencer is on the back or who the other person is, but just really like cleverly done, like with cutouts with the eyes and whatever. I just love the way that the aesthetic is. And the palette is cruelty free, paraben free and vegan with a 12 month shelf life. And I suppose you really want to see the inside. So, so it's got a mirror and then this is the, the shades in the palette. So it's a rainbow palette of sorts really. But you've got eight matte shades in these two rows here and then four shimmers. And she's kind of set it out in rows and suggested that, you know, for creativity, you might want to, to go down these downward rows. But we've kind of done that today. I've used that row and just two of that row to create the look today. But I love how the, the shades are kind of, the names are all kind of off centre, like, like they're falling down or whatever. It's just all part of like the aesthetic that she has. So yeah, I was super excited for this because it's kind of primary brights and then some shimmers all in one palette. It's quite small and, and compact and easy to take away with you or easy to store. I just really like the look of it. So I wanted to treat myself to it. It was 29 US dollars and you can only get it on Lightly Makeup's website. Prior to this, as I say, they've done blushes and they've done lashes. I've never really been a fan of lashes. I can't get on with those. So I didn't pick up anything else with this because I own the, the blushes already. But I did pay for shipping that included taxes. And I've not really seen too much of that on an indie site before. But it's so much better. If you're UK based, definitely go for the option to have your taxes included because then you don't pay the admin fee, which can be £8 or £12 when the product gets to the UK and Royal Mail will charge you for processing your charges. So if you have them included, then you don't have any of that to worry about. You know what you're going to pay. And this arrived super quickly. I ordered it on launch day, which was last Wednesday, and it came yesterday on Monday. So, you know, only five days to get here and they're Canadian based. So really super impressed with the shipping that they chose. They use FedEx, they're using courier shipping, and the shipping was around about $20, including the taxes. So, so yeah, super impressed with that. But let's jump into this tutorial. You can see the look that I've created. 
and then we'll get back together at the end and I'll give you some first impressions on the shades that I've used so far. Okay guys, my first look then with the Lightly Makeup Ugly palette and I really want to try the purple, the yellow and the blue so I'm going to be sticking sort of to this zone of the palette today and I'm going to start by packing this purpley shade in my outer V and that's the shade Abstract. I've already primed my eyes using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, not set it, I'm just going straight over that and I'm using an angled brush to get me the shape that I'm looking for. This one is a Spectrum B4. So I kind of want to come in or out at a bit of a V-shape kind of angle here. I don't want to take my eyeshadow up too, too high today. And I don't want to do a wing, so I do want to make sure I can see this purple though when my eyes are open so probably will need to go just a little bit higher than I've got and I'm just winging that out just slightly as well as I go what a beautiful shade of purple though that is stunning and purples can be tricky so I thought red can sometimes be awkward because it's not always true red and then the next most awkward or probably is equally awkward is purple because purples can be patchy but this is not patchy at all this is absolutely beautiful I don't think I've got a purple this kind of tone in my collection either and certainly not one as pigmented as this is I'm just going to swap brushes to a pencil brush this is the A12 by Spectrum just to fill in the outer V now that we've got the shape and I don't want to take that in too far because I want to allow myself some room for shimmers to go there that's just packing on so so well I just want to bring that through the crease just a little bit and I'm just using really light pressure now I want to allow myself some room to use the yellow in the inner part and then I'm going to use the blue on the lower lash line I think want to, as I say, just angle that out just a little. I'm just going to take a bit of time just to just blend now and just make this look how I want it and then I might go in and pack a bit more on as well. I'm just going to bring it onto the lower lash line but just the sort of outer third and join it up with the outer corner here. I like the overall shape of that now. Just going to go in and just pack a little bit more on in this outer corner, but we've not really lost much in the blending process, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to take the shade Lucid, this yellow here, and I'm going to put that in the inner part of my crease here towards my nose. That's beautiful too, that's showing up as a true yellow and it's pretty pigmented as well where it's just touching that purple I'm just allowing it to touch but not really blending it with that purple I'm going a bit heavier with that one I always think with yellow you need to really pack it on to see it well and then on the front part of my lower lash line here I'm going to go in with painterly I'm just going to press that close to my lashes just coming straight across I've got a little bit more gap in my inner corner there it's a gorgeous turquoisey tone it goes lovely with the purple really complements that purple and just blending the purple with that turquoisey shade just where they meet there I'm just taking a brush with no additional product and just blending underneath now just to make everything as seamless as possible now I'm going to go in with NYX Glitter Primer, just going to plop that on the lids, not a cut crease, but just to help the shimmers have something to adhere to. I'm going to use the shade Tired nearer to the purple and the shade Luxe nearer to the yellow. These shimmers are just like a 
normal traditional shimmer there's no glitter particles in them but they're, they're pretty all the same and in some ways I prefer that because they pick up nicely with a brush and they don't crease too badly on my older eyes so much as I like all these sort of ultra sparkly shimmery formulas a lot of them as I say just don't pick up too well whereas these are picking up really nicely on a brush it's taking lux on the inner part wow oh that one's a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be perfect with that yellow And just where it's meeting that blue, that tired shade, I'm just smushing those together. So it has ended up a little bit like a cut crease on the front portion here. But I'm not mad at it. Yeah, these are definitely my kind of shimmers because, as I say, they're going on really smooth, but they're they're quite bright and pigmented. gonna swap to an inner corner brush just to just bring that down into my lower lash line and into my inner corner and it's why I left that little bit of room there by that, that blue on my lower lash line just to give us a bit of space just to bring that down and along okay so that's the eyeshadow look to this point just gonna hop off camera for something in my waterline mascara and a lip and i'll be back with you with the finished look and to wrap up the video and give you some thoughts on the shades that i've used okay so this is the finished look of course you saw it in the intro i've gone in with azure by nyx in my waterline just to pull out that blue that's on the lower lash line there and then my lips today are melt mariachi this came out with the amore eterno collection it's a beautiful shade of purple but it doesn't completely dry down so i'll probably end up with it all over my teeth by the end of the video <laughs> but it's just such a beautiful purple it matches the kind of cool tone purple vibe of the outer part of my eyes i couldn't resist wearing it so i like to match my eye makeup not much of a neutral lip girl as you know so my thoughts on the palette then well never come across a purple that performed quite as well as this one that shade abstract it's kind of a bluey cool toned kind of purple it's not one that's got any pink about it or anything like that but it's definitely purple and it just really packs a punch even when you blend it out it doesn't disappear it's not patchy at all it's just a stunning shade I don't have anything really like it in my collection the yellow I use lucid it does show up I think with yellows you really need to pack yellow down it would have showed up more on a white base but it is there and it, it you know it's prominent in the look you can see it and it's super smooth goes on nicely and then on my lower lash line I use painterly so I've only used that a little bit in the look didn't really blend that too much so not too much to say about that but i think it's the perfect shade to go with abstract they really that kind of tealy sort of blue and purple together just always look gorgeous and then i've used two of the shimmers so i've used the shade Lux and i've used the shade tired and as i said in the tutorial they're the sort of shimmers that are just true traditional shimmer shades so you've got no sparkly particles or anything like that in there no glitter infused or anything so if you're looking for that they're not that but i love this kind of shimmer because they're pretty reflective on the eyes they don't crease they're not gonna like wear off or anything like that i've come across this formula before and i know i love it if you've got older eyes this kind of formula is your friend and it picks up on a brush super well which is important to me as you guys know I don't like using my finger for shimmers and I don't like getting shimmer fallout all over my face and these shimmers are going to be perfect for that I like the shimmers that they've chosen actually you can take this in in quite a few directions like if you're doing a, a sort of pink and red and orangey look then you'd use Serific there You've got the green to sort of go with the, the sour shade or that ugliest shade. She calls that one ugliest because apparently it's the um, ugliest Pantone colour. But I think it's really nice. It's like a sludgy brown, but I think it's going to be interesting when mixed with the green or with the red or even with the yellow. So I think it's quite a, a good addition to the palette. 
but you've got shimmers to to pretty much go in any direction that you might want to i think she's been very clever in her choices in the shimmers there and i like that there's a ratio of sort of two thirds mattes to one third shimmer i think that's absolutely perfect having the eight mattes and four shimmers can't wait to dip into the red and the green or that pink they're just all so vibrant and i've seen uh, eye swatches of the red and I know in the pictures that I saw it looked like a true red so I, uh, it took me all of my um, will not to use that I really really wanted to use the red today but I'm so glad I tried out the purple because it's beautiful so yeah I've not been as excited about a little eyeshadow palette like this in the longest time. It might just look like a little rainbow palette, but it, there's something a little bit unique and special about it, and the formula is bomb. So, so yeah, from what I've tried so far, I'm super, super excited to use it again. So you'll have to let me know, guys, did you pick this one up? Have you got the uh, Fairy or the Clown Blush palettes as well? Because if you don't, I know that those are incredible, so I can definitely recommend those. And if you're thinking of picking up a couple of things to kind of like make the shipping worthwhile, then either of those blush palettes paired with this palette would be great together. So that's my thoughts so far. Only first impressions, of course, because I've only used a few of the shades, but, but so far, really, really love it. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you might consider subscribing on your way out and also hitting the like button for me. But other than that, guys, hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>